you guys are both capped pretty young yeah. for England, weren't you? I mean, it was a pretty meteoric rise from under-20s mm. to, to, to that next level. What was it like joining the England senior squad, joining the big show with all those experienced professionals around you yeah. and find, finding your place in that world? Yeah, I think with it, it, in any environment, I think when you're new to it, you kind of have to earn, especially, you know, your peers' respect on the field. So me and Jack, uh, we've only spoke when spoken to really we yeah really it was yeah. It's <laughs> um, meetings you keep your head down make sure you're making all your notes if you get asked anything you pretty much just sit there and read them all just list everything make sure you don't get anything wrong and I yeah. mean yeah I mean they're all everyone there players and all quite intimidating people but you've got to kind of stand your ground in it yeah you've just got to you know earn your respect on the field and like you said you're, you're pinching yourselves at times you know when you're training with you know Mako Vinopola even Mike Brown, even though we play with him at our club, he's most capped England um, fullback ever. Yeah. Robbo, ex England captain, one of the best back row players in England's um, generation. Owen Farrell, George Ford, uh, those those type of characters, and you just you got to pinch yourself. But then at the same time, realise you're, you're here for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, they're not just going to pick anyone, so you, you are here for a reason, and you deserve to be here. It's just about you working hard and doing your job for the team.